Like a caravan in the desert, a group of Camarasaurus lumbers towards an oasis, a grove of conifer trees. Long ago, the plant eaters found a way to coexist with nature and each other. When it comes to food, they live in a vertical world. Dryosaurus is tagging along. Without rain, the pickings are slim. But where the big sauropods go, Dryosaurus knows a feast is in the making. Camarasaurus thrives on the boughs of evergreen, high in the trees. Their strong teeth and powerful jaws literally rip the branches off. To reach them, Camarasaurus can do something most other sauropods can't. The vertebrae in its neck are strong, yet hollow, which makes them lightweight. A network of cable-like ligaments helps Camarasaurus hold its head in an almost vertical position. Sauropods don't chew their food, they gulp it. To digest it, they swallow stones called gastroliths, which grind the food in their stomach. Because Camarasaurus consumes large quantities of vegetation faster than it can process it, its belly is huge. The Dryosaurus makes short work of the scraps. They chew their food to speed digestion. A sauropod is a virtual bulldozer. They can wipe out a forest in no time by uprooting trees and plants. In the days to come, herds of sauropods will scour the landscape. But for now, it's one tree at a time. Two other local residents a male and a female Stegosaurus are also scrounging for food. For an animal the length of a bus and the weight of a rhino, its snout is small and toothless. Still, it's the largest dinosaur of its kind in the world. The plates on its back and its tail, bristling with four-inch spikes, are designed to repel the most aggressive attackers. begins to strut. His back plates are like feathers to a peacock. They're priceless when it comes to mating. <laughs> 